name is Parker and I'm head of lower school. Because of the COVID restrictions, we're unable to have you in for a tour. So we thought it'd be really nice to do a virtual tour of the school so I can show you exactly what the building looks like, but also talk to you about all of the offers and all of the possibilities of things that your children can get involved in when they join Highfields. So please follow me. I hope you enjoy the tour. So when your child will come through reception in the morning, we have receptionists available from 7.30 until five o'clock every day. Um, they will come through into the restaurant where we are now. So we start serving breakfast at eight o'clock in the morning. There's also food at break time, lunch time, and we also serve after school. Um, it does mean as well that this is the more formal part of where we actually eat in the restaurant. So this is where they actually have a plate and a knife and fork. However, we also have three cafes on each floor. And this is something that we will show you as we go through the tour. But it does mean that children have an awful lot of choice as to where they want to go and eat every day that they're in Highfields. In order to do this, we have something called Parent Pay. So we are a completely cashless school. So we will give you a Parent Pay login. Some of you might have used this at primary school. This means you top up your child's account and therefore when they come home and they're telling you they've eaten fabulously well today and they've had salad and an apple, when you log in, you'll need that probably what they will have had is a pizza and a cake. So you will be able to see exactly what they're doing and monitor their eating habits and how much they're spending. So this is now the ground floor and we're now about to enter the Maths and Science Learning School. So within this we have a mixture of traditional classrooms and also a mixture of labs. This means that students get very used to moving classrooms so that they get the optimum amount of opportunities in which to do as many experiments as possible while they're in the labs. At Highfields we're very digital rich here and so we like all students to have their own laptops. This is a scheme that we encourage parents to buy into, which means that every, sh every child has their own laptop. So we can set work, um, they can take this home, they can do all of their homework, you can track this as well. So as you see through the tour and you can see our buildings, you can see that there are quite a few printers around the building. Students again are given their own pin numbers for this. And at any point then they can go to the printer, print their work off and have it ready in ready for their next lessons. So again, in the tour, you will see that there is an eating area, so a cafe that I referred to, one of these therefore on every floor. So students for this part can get the quick food, pizzas, paninis, sandwiches, pasta pots. It is the cafe option rather than the formal restaurant idea that you've already seen. So all of these will allow students to be very independent and for them to go wherever they need to. You will also see from the tours if you go round that we've got toilets on each side of the building and this is very, very open. This is very deliberate so we can make sure that all students feel very safe and very secure in school and that we can monitor exactly what students are up to. We also have on each floor an LRC. So you will see this as we go past. On the top floor there are two for the two learning schools that are up there. But all of these learning schools stock the information that is very much about the subject that is taught in that learning school. So now we're on to the innovations floor. This is the real creative floor of the school. So you will see that we have got fabulous music rooms and students get to play an awful lot of instruments and try lots of new things in their music lessons. We also have lots of opportunities for them to play instruments outside of their lesson time and for them to really continue these. Lose opportunities with an extracurricular for orchestra and to be part of our whole school performances. 
We also have huge amount of computers here, even though we expect students to use their laptops. Um, because of the um, increase in computer science now, we also have computers which will have packages that we don't put onto the laptops. So as students get to year 10 and 11, they will need this extra IT provision. You will see that the product design rooms and the food rooms have practical lessons going on all through the year. Students really getting to grips and actually trying to find talents that maybe they just didn't know they have. These subjects are immensely popular and certainly go right up now to sixth form for A-level. When you're thinking about choosing a school for your child, remember it's not just for the next five years, it is for the next seven. And it's really important you take into account the sixth form opportunities that may be available. There are also business, economics, health, child, all these subjects are taught through this floor. And now you can see the fabulous talented art students that we have in school and all the work that they create. So this again is a really popular subject and this goes right up to A-level. So this is the hugely creative floor where students get to really move around and to really explore their talents. We also have a fabulous lecture theatre here. This is used very much for year 11, trying to prep them and get them ready for later on in life. And it's certainly been used an awful lot by our sixth form this year, trying to get them ready for the university and what life will be like there. We also, as part of our extracurricular, and I will talk so much more about that later on, but we have a fabulous film studies here and film club is hugely popular and they use the lecture theatre quite a lot to watch the films in 3D and to be able to feed back to some of the films that they have made themselves. So here we are on the top floor. This is where we have two learning schools. This is communications and humanities. So to go through humanities first, this is where students will experience RE, citizenship, geography and history, and certainly lots and lots of subjects on offer as they get up towards sixth form with law, sociology and psychology, to name but a few. So huge progression routes if that's the route that your child chooses to take. On communications, this is our English department and also our MFL of which our first language is Spanish, but we also do offer French. So students up here, you'll see very different types of classrooms, far more formal settings up here where everybody is sat sort of in rows and the more traditional style desks that you would see in other schools. As well as on the top floor here though, they also have their own LRCs, as I've mentioned previously. And this is where you can get all of the books for those particular subjects, but certainly within the communications LRC, this is the big part for the library where students will go really encouraged to go and take books out because we really, really want students to read as much as they possibly can. And we push that an awful lot at Highfields for them to expand to their reading knowledge. So again, it's about getting involved at Highfields and now on the top floor, we'll move through to the Lyceum. This is where all of our performances take place, of which we've had the most amazing performances over the years. Adam's Family, Wizard of Oz, it's been incredible to come and watch some of those. And that is something that we really want students to get involved in if they like that. The Lyceum is also used though for assemblies. And this is where we get the whole year group together, of which the intake for the minute for us is 280. So in all 280 students and that really shows the amount of students that we've got in the year group and makes them feel they all really own that year group together. Opposite to the Lyceum, we have the activity studio. This is a full dance studio, full mirrored, and this is again somewhere that we really encourage students to participate and get involved in all of the extracurricular. Dance being really, really popular now, so much so it's even become a GCSE dance subject that we now offer.
Okay, so a big part of Highfields is getting really involved into school life. And we have lots and lots of extracurricular available. So you will see behind that we have fabulous facilities outside as well. So we do have the mugger, of which that is used for huge amounts of activities. We have the bottom field. We also have a top field and we also have a sports hall. So huge, huge facilities available to students and these are greatly used. So extracurricular from a PE point of view, students arrive in at half past seven. They're doing activities every morning before school starts. There's at least two or three different sporting activities every night and children are really encouraged to get involved here. From a school point of view we have a large inclusion team here of which you'll have a year manager assigned to your child's year group and that year manager will take your child right the way through to year 11. That means they really get to know your child well and you get to know their year manager really well. So the inclusion team here do a lot to support the students. They'll monitor attendance, they monitor punctuality. We also monitor behaviour and keep you informed and that also supports part of the progress review link of which I explained earlier. But within all of this, we really, really support the whole triangle idea of the fact that within a progress review that you get at the end of a half term, it will show your child's effort. And that is very much about showing how much they are putting into their work. It also reflects their progress as to how they've done that half term. And if we're concerned about that, that's very much for us to see what interventions and support we need to put into place. It also shows homework. And this very much is the part of the triangle which reflects for you, which is that we share an app with you, Show My Homework. You can log on to that and you can see all the homework that your child has been set. You can keep an eye to see what's got to be done and when it's due in and how it should be submitted. So that forms the third part of the triangle where we all work very, very closely to make sure that every child is as successful as they can possibly be. So within that inclusion team, we have them on duty from 7.30 every morning till five o'clock. So children can come into the building, they can go to a club, they can get their breakfast, they can simply go to the printers, print their work off so it's ready to hand in on that day. All students will also be given a locker when they arrive and within that locker then they could also put their homework in safe for later or certainly if they choose to stay after school to do an activity or to stay at a homework club they could then print their work off, pop it in the locker and it's ready for the following day. Everything about Highfields is to build independence in your child, to help them to be really well organised, to help them to prepare for themselves for whatever job that they choose to take in the future. And we really hope that you've enjoyed this tour today and that you've seen the areas of the school that you think probably your child will like most. We really, really want them to get involved in school life and to get up and involved in all the extracurricular. It's not just PE and performance. We also have STEM clubs, art clubs, food clubs. So whatever it is, as they're working their way through school, they see as their talents, there is always opportunities for them to take those further. So thank you very much for enjoying joining me for this virtual tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's given you a better insight as to what Highfields has to offer. If there is anything further, then please don't hesitate to contact Highfields School and we'll see whatever we can do to answer your questions. Thank you.